Assalamu alaikum and greetings, Alishan Mao here and welcome to this simple quick video of how did I set up my JJ Pro P130 Battler quadcopter, what are my settings, I'll show you my settings in clean flight, how did I set it up with my receiver and Tyrannis and of course after that we'll bring it out for a flight today, hopefully I'll get a chance to fly these things. Alright, so let's get to work. So the quadcopter is here and Terranis radio is here. First off, I need to show you my receiver setup. So I had, because I don't have small receivers, I had to take out my iRanger X receiver from the QX95 Ishin, okay? And after that, uh, because it was already bound to my Tyrannis, so all I needed to do is connect it to here. Now, I had a whole lot of cables actually sandwiched down there very very badly which was a kind of a ppm setup cables that you have to connect each channel to each cable all right which was making a lot of mess now if you want to go with a uh, sbus setup this is going to be very very simple just like that get your sbus receiver and it's right here very simple all you need to do is remember the pin 1 here is the ground pin then pin 2 is 5 volt so black goes to the ground red goes to the 5 volt and then white which is a signal pin solder it to channel 4 now please excuse my mountain is a bit terrible kind of soldering here but remember this is the only thing we're not talking about the quality of soldering we're talking about the procedure so this is a nazi 32 board all right so remember the signal cable which is a white cable solder it to channel 4 and then remember this you will not change be very very careful on this one because if this one has issues uh, problems you're gonna have trouble thank you camera for turning on the light so black goes to the ground red goes to the point uh, 5 volt here okay if you somehow manage to swap them you will see some magic smoke so anyway now this is very simple just three cables to solder and you can throw out all the those noodles that were actually sandwiched in between here all right after that just power it on and bind your receiver to your Terranis and you will be ready to do the clean flight setup now before we move on to clean flight setup let's go to the Terranis setup we will go and because I have set it up to Ishin Q95 I have to uh, change the name of the model okay now let's go to the model all right and my settings are very simple all I needed to do the first thing I needed to do was to change these uh, channel layout then normally the Terranis when you make a new uh, model it will set throttle aileron elevator and rudder so I had to change it to channel 1 to aileron okay uh, oh, oh sorry So I had to change it to channel 1 to aileron, channel 2 to elevator, channel 3 to throttle and channel 4 to rudder and then everything worked just perfectly. After that I set up a couple of uh, mixes right here. So apart from channel 1, 2, 3, 4, you can see channel 5 SC is flight most, channel 6 SF is to arm and disarm the motors, okay. And channel 7 is using switch HD. Why? Why did I do that? Well, first off, this is all you will do in Terranis but why did I set two different channels let me show you right away okay so first we'll put our tiny quadcopter here and connect it to the computer all right once it's connected check it's working fine now excuse the white balance on my uh, camera but uh, let's just go now, excuse the white balance on my camera but I hope you can see the things the first thing I did was go to the ports tab and turn on the serial RX okay and after that don't forget to save and reboot once done then you will go to the receivers tab and you will scroll down to choose serial RX okay that is RX serial 
and here you will choose as bus now again hit save all right after that when you come up you can see how your channels are working if all the channels are working fine go ahead with this if not then simply change the setup in your Tyrannis for the channel mapping and you will be good now nothing else I did on this uh, tab no more uh, changes what I did was to go to mod next I went to the modes tab and why I set up all of these things because look here I found this board is actually equipped with magnetometer and barometer as well hmm if this is it why not just go ahead and use it and see how it works so I set up angle horizon barometer air mod and magnetometer so I set up all these modes now I can use my Tyrannis to switch the modes using channel uh, 5 that is SC I set up then my channel 6 is to arm and disarm the motors okay and my channel 7 is going to switch to barometer and mag all right so we will see how these things work my channel d7 uh, uh, switch d also turns these modes off so i set it up this way that whenever i want i can turn on bra and i can turn on mag or i can just keep them off and use my angle horizon and air mode that's it so that was uh, the reason i selected three mixes and switched and switches to set up everything here now let's go to PID tuning PID tuning I left them pretty much as they were set up and later I will take it from here and tweak if I need it the only thing I changed was roll to 0.75 pitch rate to 0.75 yaw to 0.85 and TPA to 0.45 that's it after that hit save and disconnect that's all the setup that you will need now we are back to the funny colors on my camera all right so turn it off i mean take this off come on all right very nice and thank you so now this is this little baby is all set up all i need to do is stick the receiver somewhere nicely neatly Put on the propellers, batteries are charged, bring it out and see how this little thing will perform. Can't wait to see what this little thing can do. I believe I have to tweak the PIDs a bit, but hey, this is gonna be fun to fly this thing outdoors. Nice and fast, magnetometer on, barometer off, and if I put the throttle to zero, motors keep running still, which is very nice. Thank you for watching the video and thank you very much for your continued support to watch my work on YouTube. Please subscribe to my channel and stay updated for all the regular video uploads. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share the link over your social sites.